Howdy folks, Tonester back with another replay for you, this time in the SU-12244. We are mid-tier and we are on steps. I just got a uh, new microphone stand and also a, um, I don't know what they call it, a filter anyway, to keep your breath from uh, making sound on it. And so I hope that's helping. I am trying to up the quality on the channel a little bit, uh, little by little. Um, and we're just coming up to this sniper area basically. And that shot's going to miss 9 times out of 10. So, But it's worth taking a shot. You never know. So uh, we don't have a whole lot of help and a whole lot of meat on this side. And so we're just going to knock down some trees because we don't really have anything else to do. And try and create some bush cover and see what happens in this game. We are in a non turreted TD, which... Are not my favorite type of tank and they're very hard to carry in although this one has a 390 alpha gun and it has 175 pen on its standard rounds the gun itself is rather derpy but it's also got some usable armor on it it's very very sloped so this game's gonna be a little bit of a slow start if you don't win the side of the map you lose the the game a lot of times so I do have a uh, 390 122 mil gun and I'm shooting for the sides of that Thunderbolt because I can overmatch the rear side of his tank. So he kind of uh, waddles off a little bit but we go ahead and put a shot into his turret as it's side on. And TD life boys, it's just the way it goes. They have an AT-15A pushing along with a T-34 black and we do not have a lot there. We've got a Tiger or a Tiger 2. So um, we're aiming for lower plate but that is rarely going to hit with this tank. It just does not hit all that often. And uh, we're just waiting for more shots basically. Yeah, we've got a Tiger P, and he's up against a Tier 8, a Tier 7, and a Tier 6. And that Tier 7 AT-15A has very, very good uh, DPM and armor. So, so we're just waiting for uh, things to show up still. Playing slow, as we should. And it looks like they're getting awfully pushy on this side. So we're able to uh, throw a shot into the side of the turret of that T-34 black. And we've switched to gold rounds, of course. And we're trying for the cupola on the AT-15A. If you don't know where to hit it, that's where you hit it. And no luck. Finally get a pen a shot on him. We do use a fair amount of gold this game. 175 pen when you're facing tank destroyers and whatnot is not necessarily very good. So that Tiger P is doing a very good job of just kind of sitting in there and um, absorbing damage. He's done very, very well for himself. We go ahead and get lit, so we're gonna pull back. But the lion's share of their forces are on this side of the map. So we've already won the heavy side. So trying to figure out um, I can get a shot on this LTTB. I want to make sure and fully aim it. Um, as this is a derpy gun. But if we get a shot on him and take him out, then the top is kind of secure. And that's quite important. Yeah, I'm sorry that uh, this is why I don't feature TDs very often. There's just not enough going on really to. Uh, to warrant it and th and they have an AT-8 down there now and he looks to be pressing the action as well but um, we're gonna try and back off use our bush mechanics and get a shot on this OI and I gotta say um, Vidar you did a really good job of holding that corner against a lot of tanks so good on you so we're up to 2,000 damage, and we put a shot into the uh, Thunderbolt. And now we're just going to push. This AT-15, uh, or AT-8, 
is just in a world of hurt, right? Because he's he's got a bunch of enemies and his friends all died. This is what happens in an AT-15. So that Skoda was very good about pulling up as soon as he saw what was going on too. I mean, it behooves him because, you know, he's got an auto loader and he probably hasn't had a lot of damage this game. But they do have an LTG alive and that LTG is fast enough. Um, this thing has good traverse, but not that good. But it's, that LTG could circle us possibly if we're out in the open, but we do have a lot of friends with us right now. So I'm not too worried about it. And there he is, but check out that snapshot. Get a lucky shot there on the Borsig. And we, we go into a side scrape angle for that LTG just so that he doesn't hit us again. And I know that Borsig has, um, he's still got, he's probably loaded for sure by now, but he, he probably didn't want to come over and we end up, we're still lit and we take a shot from a tiger one that's been camping base all game so still though 3000 damage on the board let's go ahead and fast forward this a little bit and we end up with a victory so um, let's go to the after action report on this okay guys we won't spend a whole lot of time here i'm sorry this was kind of a boring game but it was a first class and we also ended up with high caliber we were top of the team uh, by damage dealt, 3,100, and also by experience, 1,022. Looks like their Dicker Max did quite a bit of work, um, and that's about it, basically. Oh, how did our Tiger P do? He did 1,000 damage, but he also blocked 1,000 damage and was actually pretty instrumental in holding that corner. 16 shots fired, 11 hits, 9 pins. That's normal with this thing. We lost a few credits because we fired a bunch of gold. And nothing else really of note. We did hit it on a double, so that's nice. So I will catch you guys next time. Please do subscribe and uh, leave comments for me if you don't mind. We'll talk to you later.